So that actually uh, uh, brings brings up this question of, uh, um, you know, a lot of our audience is, is obviously interested in cybersecurity and compliance. Uh, so how does, um, uh, or, or really, I, I, I should say, what are the Banner Enterprise Identity Services? Well, it, it, it has a, a very uh, good uh, connectivity with, with, with standard-based architectures, uh, LDAP, CAS, SPML, we, we, we can have any standard architecture uh, uh, implemented and uh, we can have Banner uh, as the identity producer for the full environment or, or we can have it as, as the simply uh, not be another consumer. So we, we have both alternatives as, as a possibility and, uh, and we have a solution that is uh, the Banner Enterprise Identity Service uh, as, a, as a solution that uh, is a very uh, efficient way to automate the uh, many, many activities related to, to the identity management, uh, anything related to provisioning, uh, outbound, inbound, uh, modifications of the, of the persons, uh, of the users, and the deprovisioning and, and the proper uh, SPML, which is the, the service provision in markup language to, to handle the, the, the integrations and the access provision. And actually, what, what version of Banner does this uh, capability start being available? Is it uh, Banner 7, 8, or 9, or beyond? From, nine, from 8 onwards, we, we, we can have it. Uh, I, I wouldn't suggest anyone uh, staying under 8 at this moment because of the the, the security challenge they would be facing, and it's it's a it's a pretty uh, easy update to get to eight point zero at least, uh, when they are to, to have an institution uh, under eight point zero, it would mean that it's uh, over fifteen years old almost. So it, it's really really far in time. They shouldn't be doing that. Uh, but most of the institutions, at least in 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 Latin America, are above eight point zero and of course, 9.3 and, and beyond that are the most uh, up-to-date institutions can, can handle it.